to YouTube, what a guan. Today I want to show you a very nice uh, skin for Windows 7 tablets. As you know, I was playing around with my Asus and uh, yeah, the hard drive broke. And uh, in my previous video, you could see like how to replace the hard drive and how to fix it. And uh, now I installed Windows 7 on it because I think I'm going to sell the baby, you know. And here she is, Windows 7, here we are. Uh, installed and all also with uh, some updates looking all sexy yep but as you know um, the touch single is a little bit difficult so uh, I'm using a mouse this is an old device eh? we cannot uh, hate or whatever on this device it's a real nice old device it's the Asus R2H yep it's a very thick device though even has GPS for those that doesn't know don't know this device okay but anyway this is the baby and um, I was uh, showing you something I want to show you something we're gonna install a special skin and it's called Tinix Tinix touch and as a matter of fact I, I I can't remember if I did this before but uh, we're gonna try you can go to tinix.com and up there you just have to put in your uh, credentials if you want to. You can also lie, but you must not lie. You must be honest. So what we're going to do now, uh, of course, uh, you cannot do it on a bare uh, just installed Windows 7. You must do some updates because you need... Uh, I think you need installer 3.1 to be installed and you also need some other stuff that you will get uh, if you do some updates if you install the 40 or 50 or even 60 updates that you get after the installing of your Windows 7 and uh, we're uh, just waiting here to see what's going on probably we will get a little pop up here and sorry for the light It's taking a little long. Don't know why. I don't want to update anymore, man. Okay, there she is. I was waiting for this. And now the installation will begin. <coughs> I'm recording this at one time, so it might be a little boring video. Because I wasn't planning to film this. But I thought, you know, I know some of you have the Asus uh, R2H. And I thought, well, let me make a last video of this baby before she leaves. We still had some nice times, so quality tablet, eh? This thing costed a lot of money, no jokes. It came with Windows Vista, though. It has a Windows Vista um, license, I think. But then again, it was installed on the on the on the hard drive and the hard drive broke down so I had to put in another hard drive so in fact uh, this is just for the video because I might uh, just install Linpus Linux on uh, on this baby here it's asking you to show, show, show whatever. Yeah. Here we get some stuff. By the way, we're filming with um, with the HTC Legend. 
And up here you can see that it's putting some shortcuts. And these guys also created a package. You can buy it for five euros and then you can get your Windows 7 back or your Windows 7 looks back on uh, on Windows 8. <clears throat> Would you like to set your Windows background? Yeah. Does this computer support automatic screen rotation? No. Use the setup process is complete. So this is really nice. Let's see what will happen. So, and now we go. Okay. Are you ready? <clears throat> now we're going to get the new skin. Evaluate for 30 days. I don't have an activation code. I didn't buy it yet. Might buy it, Joe. It's not so expensive. Look at that. You see that? Wow. We still have the small captions, but I'm going to show you how to make that bigger. Close all tabs. Let's close all. Explorer tabs. And here you can see that we got a real nice... And how do we... Okay. Oh, like that. Here we can... Go to all the programs. See that free cell? <laughs> it's all there. Looking really nice. I think you guys should buy this program. If you have a Windows 7 tablet, you shouldn't uh, use the Windows 7 uh, skin because it makes no sense, no? It's a little bit too big. And what is this? Up here we can rotate the screen left, right. You see that? Or you, 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 I bet you cannot read it, anything of it. But you shouldn't uh, see it too good. If you want to uh, see it better, then you must go to tinix.com and then download it and also experience a real nice um, way of using your tablet that normally was not usable because... Let's see, YouTube. Look at that, YouTube. Is it playing? Oh, look at, look at that, we have a keyboard, yo. So we can easily type something here, so we can, oh, look at that. So, a light version of um, Windows 7 could also work, eh? I just got the idea. But I need to go to my settings. How do I get into my settings? <coughs> um, log off, shut down. Return to Windows. You see that? Really easy to return to Windows. And then I wanted to show you how you can um, screen resolution and then advanced settings. Oh no. Um, uh, no. Captions. Where do I find captions? Captions. Captions. Oh, they remove the option here. I will find, and I will have to find another way. 
because this won't help me to make it bigger. I don't want that because then it won't fit on my screen. Window color maybe here somewhere here. Let's see. Um, desktop. Do I see some sizes up here? Um, captions. Do clip scroll bar, da, 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 inactive icon caption bottoms that's that's here you see and this one we just make bigger we make it forty so ah I had to click OK so we go to caption now it's really easy and now that we know where it is where is it <laughs> caption bottoms and then we must hit OK. Look, you see, they just got bigger. Now they are easier to touch. We can make it even bigger. Look. Ooh, if I hope, I hope I can click. Ah, this is big enough now. I wanted to make them even bigger. <laughs> I'm not I'm not able to click the apply. Oh, we just hit enter on the keyboard. Okay, there we go. And we just made them bigger. And now if we go to my computer, then you will see that we have a bigger caption here that we can easily touch. And now we can easily use this thing. At least um if we can get into the corner, because I hide the the thingy there, and now we can easily do some touching. And to get back to Tinex, we just hit Tinex, and then Tinex Touch will start up. <coughs> Evaluate, and there you go, Tinex. Rolling it up for you. Beautiful, ain't it? I think so. So if you have a tablet and it's running Windows 7 or maybe even Windows XP, then you can try Tinix. Tinix Touch, you can find them just by Googling uh, the Tinix UI, UI, UE, yeah, UI, UI. And then you will find it. So, you know, I would advise that because you know, typing wrong all the time in Windows will make you annoyed and you will get pissed off on the tablet and you will just throw it away on the ground or so. And I advise you not to do that. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, it was long, it was a little bit boring, but if you liked it, let me know. Bye.